Hi everyone. Today, we're going to talk about removing bloatware from Windows 11. If you've recently bought a new PC or upgraded your operating system, you might have noticed a bunch of pre-installed apps that you don't want or need. These apps, often called bloatware, take up space and can even slow down your system. Don't worry, though, we'll walk through some simple ways to get rid of them. Let's start with the most basic method, manually uninstalling the apps. Open the start menu. Find the app you don't want, right-click on it, and select uninstall. It's quick and easy. However, there are a couple of things to keep in mind. Some of these apps aren't fully installed but are just shortcuts or ghost apps that point to installers. Clicking on them will actually install the app instead of removing it. To avoid this, simply ignore or delete those shortcuts. Remember, this method works only for your user account. So if someone else uses the same computer, they'll have to uninstall the apps from their account too. If manual uninstallation feels tedious, you can take a more advanced approach using local group policy. This tool helps you remove bloatware more thoroughly by disabling cloud-optimized content. Search for Edit Group Policy in the Start menu and open the app. From there, navigate to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, Cloud Content. Find the Turn Off Cloud Optimized Content Policy, double-click it, and set it to Enabled. Once you've done this, delete the local state folder from a specific directory in File Explorer. Don't forget to restart your PC after making these changes. This will clear out those annoying pin shortcuts from the Start menu. Keep in mind that some of these changes may not last forever. Windows updates, especially feature updates, might bring back the bloatware or undo some of your settings. It's a good idea to check your configuration after major updates and repeat the process if needed. So. Why does this problem persist? Unfortunately, Microsoft doesn't provide much transparency or official guidance on bloatware removal. Most of the information available comes from tech enthusiasts and system administrators who figured it out through trial and error. While this isn't ideal, at least we have a community-driven approach to tackle the issue. That's all for today. I hope this guide helps you declutter your system and make the most of your Windows 11 experience. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more straightforward tech tips. See you in the next one.